you, buddy. <laughs> Having a little bit of a fight over the ball. Welcome, welcome. Today we are doing a live dumbbell <laughs> hit workout week one of holiday hits. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So can you take the ball and go? Let's say some hi to people. Hi, Rhonda is here. Say hi, Kate, Dolores, Alozia. Paula is here. Heather, cheering for her team. Team Rudolph. Lori, Mrs. Claus is checking in. I love it. Lori, I should show my kids uh, your picture of you as Mrs. Claus. Mariah is here. Carmela, Dr. Carmela. All right, can everybody say bye and have a good workout? Bye and have a good workout. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right, let's go to daddy. Let's go to daddy. Okay, okay. I know we all feel that way sometimes about a workout. Woo! Okay, buddy, say bye, say bye. Jessica bye. is here. Linda is here. Laura, Chelsea, everybody. Heather is here. All right. Reva is here. Team Prancer, that's your team, baby. Um, so, guys, we... <laughs> hey, Team Dasher. Team Dasher, come on, kids. <laughs> All right, team. So, welcome. Hey, Amy is here. Christine is here. Hello, hello. Paula. Amy, Alyssa, Natalie is here. Yes, let's go Dasher. Hey, Amy and Virginia. Holly Christmas is here. Alyssa, Jessica, Melly, Fr Melanie from Washington. Hello, Mel. Victoria, so fun to see so many of you on today. We just had week one of Holiday Hit. If you didn't do it, that's okay. It is not too late. It is never too late. So Holiday Hit is our holiday challenge. We have this week and then we have four more weeks getting us into the new year. It is so much fun. We have some giveaways coming up next week. We have a little reindeer games challenge. Even if you didn't get to sign up to be on the team, you can still do it with us. Head over to the Buddy Bit by Amy app. Join us in the community there. Um, you can download it for free and join in for our lives this month. And you can also join the Buddy Bit by Amy show up and keep moving group. I'm gonna talk about all of that more after this, also at that about the athletic club, which so many of our members are here. Elizabeth is here. Tamika and Terrence, hello. Diane, Mia, Sandra, Catherine, hello, hello. All right, Dixie. Okay, so let's go ahead and start moving. I'm getting the cue from my producer to stop talking and start moving, as in Kurt, Kurt, my producer. <laughs> go ahead and march it out right here. Let's roll through those shoulders. Kat is here, Team Prancer, Mariah Team Comment. I love it, I love it. So yes, we have four reindeer teams. Um, and again, it's too late to be on a team because there was a lot of work that went into that. Hopefully you saw all of our posts. We had a video on here, but you can still join in on the fun. So make sure you check that out. I'll talk about that more after this. Kayla is here. She's going to do it tomorrow. Going Christmas tree hunting. I love it. I love that you call it hunting. <laughs> Let's do our eyes, Y's, and T's. I, Y, big stretch of those shoulders and T. If you want to add a little hinge with it, take it up. I, Y, and T. Right through here. Take it up. Y, and T. Let's get one more big stretch of those shoulders. I, why Tiffany and her mom are here. Let's take it flat back down. Cece, wedding on December 23rd. I'm feeling ready. Oh, congrats, Cece. Oh my goodness. Please share some pictures if you're willing. I would love to see. Congrats to you. That's coming up. Let's see. Let's hold it here. Roll those shoulders. Alexandra from the BAC is here. Lori, can't work out today. Oh, you got your appendix out. Happy recovery. Or speedy recovery, I should say. Um, hopefully you're feeling good. You will be back, Lori, before you know it. You are always showing up. Walk those feet in right through here. Let's do that squat and that hinge, hands behind the head. Squat and then hinge it forward, just like this. Take it down. You don't have to get super low, but the goal is mobility, dynamic movement in this warm up. So try to get a little lower if you can. Let's take it down right here. Can you get low in that squat? So maybe you're here, maybe you're here, and I want you just to kind of shift side to side. Either way, little hip opener right through there. And if you can, walk those feet back into that high plank. Walk them out to here. If that's not right for you, you can just tap it back. 
and tap it back. But if you're able, walk it back, walk it in, bring it all the way up. Let's go two more just like that. Gonna get the core working, open up those hips, right? All the way up, we'll get one more. Walk it back, walk it in, right through here. Let's take it back into that high plank. You can be on the knees if you need to. Let's cross those knees across, just like this. If you're on the knees, I just want you to get a little cat-cow, rolling through your back. Two more. And then I want you to walk those hands back, a little inchworm back. Hold that stretch right through here. Pedal those feet and slowly roll it up. I washed my shoes, guys. Hopefully they're looking really white today. Roll through. All right, tap it out. Hey, Susanna. Whew, let's see who else is here. Marjorie, just joined the VAC. Welcome, Marjorie. We are so excited to have you. Whew. All right, so we've got, let me get my, Ooh, everything going here. We got two timers going. All right, so we got dumbbell hit today. So somewhat similar to your hit workouts earlier this week. We're gonna have 45 seconds back to basics, followed by a 30 second hit, right? So we're keeping it dumbbell hit. So we're not gonna do any crazy jumping or super fast, super high impact, but we are gonna get the hit using our dumbbells, using compound movements. So we're adding on to that back to basics to get that heart rate up. I think you're gonna find it fun. I think you're gonna enjoy it. And everything builds on itself, all right? So I'm gonna talk you through it as we go. Go ahead and shake everything out. Grab a sip of water if you need it. We are going to start with a squat. If you can, we're gonna rack that squat here. Sit low, back to basics if you'd rather have the dumbbells in the center. That works too. Let's get 45 seconds right here. Take it down and bring it up. So if you wanna rack them, you're here. Drive up through those heels. Take it down right here. Drive it up. This is your back to basics, so it's 45. Your heart rate is probably gonna get up. Sorry guys. You keep going. Whoo! You can also have goblet squat here, or you can take it body weight. So lots of options for this squat. We're over halfway there. I want you to focus on getting low, pressing into the heels, driving the hips back, connecting with the core and the glutes at the top. Yeah, Janice made it. Destiny, just stopping by to say hi, hello, hello. Last one and relax. All right, so now we've got 30 seconds of a hit. I know what you're thinking. My heart rate's already up too. But we got 30 seconds. Here's how we're gonna drive that heart rate up. Squat it down, press it up. One dumbbell or two, let's do it. Here we go. 30 seconds, squat and press. Take it down, squat and press. So we're just adding on to the back to basics. You're gonna see how this flow goes in just a minute. If that feels like too much, you just take it here. One dumbbell and press. We got just about five seconds. Heart rate's getting up there. This is your hit round. Three, two, one. Catch your breath, feel that, right? So we're gonna keep moving with that. You get a little bit of a longer breather after the hit. So 45 seconds, we're gonna keep the press. So see, you're gonna see how it goes. But we're gonna add a curl. So easy combo, curl, press, down and down, right? So everything basically gets two rounds, just like we did it, but we're adding on, taking one thing away. Here we go. Curl, press, down and down. So we got two rounds of squats. We got a regular and a hit. Now we're gonna have two versions of a press. We had a hit and a back to basics. Then guess what? We're gonna keep the curl after this and add a lunge to make it Hit again, right? It's gonna make sense. Whoo, breathe. Jessica, hello, hello to your kiddos. Put their names in, I would love to say hi. Hi kiddos, drone dogs is here, hello, hello. We got five seconds, keeping with that 
hammer curl and press. There's those arms, right? Last one, relax. All right, team. So here is your hit version. We got 30 seconds. We're gonna lunge and curl. I would love for you to curl at the bottom of the lunge, but if that doesn't feel as natural to you, you can lunge and curl at the top. 30 seconds, here we go. Lunge and curl, drive up and through. Lunge and curl. If you need to modify, of course, you can tap back. If a lunge is just not right for you at all, you can also take it to a squat and curl. Lunge and curl, right? Right through here. You got it, team. Whoo! Breathe. Yes, you can. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Hey, Quinn and Zoe, set those weights down. Shake it out. Guess what, team? We're doing all of that again. Yes, we are, but we're gonna mix it up with our positioning. We'll give you a slight variation, but feel that heart rate, that's how it's gonna work. Quick sip. All right, team, we got 45 seconds back to that squat. Let's take our toes out right through here. Zip up that core. You can rest the weights here or you can rack them because you know we got a press coming. So back to your squat. Core engaged, shoulders back, lift up on that pelvic floor, chest open, here we go, down and up. So you can rest your weights right here, plie squat this time. If you want, take it here, right? Whatever feels best for you, if it's better to rest them here or to have one dumbbell or even no dumbbells, works too. So everything has two rounds, but we'll make it a little different as we go, okay? Yes, 15 seconds, strong, right through there, yes. Don't forget about the core, this is your back to basics, so really take your time. Hey, all right, Christine, tell your son I said hello to, ah. take it down, three, two, one. Woo. All right, so this time we got the plie and press. I want you to rack those dumbbells here if you can. Plie, press, plie, and press. It's really gonna get that heart rate up again. If you need to drop it to one dumbbell for the hit version, that works too. But if you can keep it here, right? Let's get it done. 30 seconds, three, two, one. Take it down and up. Did I say hi to Quinn and Zoe? I hope so. Hi, Quinn and Zoe, <laughs> Jessica's kiddos. I think I did, but now it's all a blur because my heart rate is up. Woo! Breathe, rack them in. Charlotte also has 11 week old Cora, baby. And four year old Sadie. Hi, Cora and Sadie. Love to give the shout outs to you guys and the kids. Three, two, one, and relax. Ha! All right, there's that heart rate, right? All right, now let's keep with the same theme. I want you to curl. Then press one and then the other. That's your back to basics. We're gonna switch it up, 45 seconds. Regular curl, here we go. Regular curl, alternate that press. If you need to take it one dumbbell, just take it curl and press. Curl, alternate, wrap it in. So you can feel we're getting a little extra chest and we're getting the biceps have to work holding right through here, right? It's that iso hold. Up, whoo, challenging, right? And down, bring it up, wrap it. Yes, team, you got it. Up, and up, and down. Last one, and relax. Ha, oh, how are those arms feeling? All right, team, so now you know we got another hit. We're gonna go curtsy and curl right through here. Curtsy and curl, alternate if you can curl at the bottom. If you need to, curl at the top if that makes more sense. But let's keep those arms working. Let's get those legs working, get low in the curtsy. Let's get that heart rate up, and then this circuit is done. Three, two, one, curtsy and curl. Mary and Veronica, hello. And breathe, Isabella. Working out with mom, Christine. Good work. 
and breathe, drop it down. And up. Still slow and controlled, but you're gonna feel how that heart rate gets up, right? And breathe. Yes. Ha. Get it done. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Ooh, boom. All right, take those hands down. How about a little cardio mobility to cool it down a little bit, give our hands and legs a little break from, right? Let's tap it back right here, 30 seconds. Tap it, join me. Tap, tap. So I want you just to cross behind and open up the arms and shoulders here. Thumbs to the back to stretch out through the shoulders, through the biceps, and open up the hips. Yes, tap. There we go. And breathe. You can take it if you want a little more cardio. You can certainly take it up a notch. But again, keeping it low impact today, getting that hit from the ways we're moving our bodies. Hopefully you are feeling it in that heart rate. We got five, four, three, two, and breathe. Everybody grab a sip of water. Ah. All right, team, we are taking it down. To the mat. All right, heavy weights. Woo. If you can. All right, so we are starting with a plank row. I know, I know. So you can go one heavy. It's gonna get your heart rate up either way. If it's better for you, you stay right here and you alternate from here. But if you can, we're gonna take it from here. When we add a little hit, we're gonna pop it up, row and row, pop it back, row and row. All right, team, let's get it done. We're gonna take it down, we'll start with that, then we'll keep adding on as we go. Zip up that core, hold it right here, breathing into it, lift it up in three, two, one. You got 45 seconds, so I really want you to take your time, right? If at any point your wrist need a break, you can take it to here, and if that is just not right for you at all, just do a standing row or a standing alternating row. Totally fine. I just want that core engaged either way, and I want you to pull from the floor to get that back working hard. So whether that's here on your knees, or here on your toes, or standing, core engagement, strong back, strong arms, all the way through. 10 seconds, right? And breathe. Three, two, and one. Ha. All right, team, so here's your hit. Row from the plank, pop it up to here, nice flat back, row and row, pop it back. You can pop it back or walk it back. If that's not right for you, you just keep doing what you were doing. Here we go. Row, you got only 30, hit. Pop it back or walk it up. Sorry, I said no jumping, but it's up to you. You can walk it back and still get the same effect. If you want to do the pop up with a jump, you can. Bring it up. Walk it back. Yes, you can. Bring it up. Let's get one more for good measure. Walk it back. Strong row, strong row. Bring it up, row it, three, two, and one. All right, catch your breath. Okay, team, so we're taking this squat as your back to basics, right? The part of that pop-up, and then we're gonna take it to a high pull right through here. So you can go a little lighter if you want. You're gonna go down, high pull, switch your arms. High pull, back to basics, but should also get that heart pumping a bit as well. So let's get it done. Shoulders back, I want you to think shoulders, but also that pull motion. Wrap that core, 45, three, two, one. Get low and breathe. So it's kind of a hinge, half of that pop up, right? High pull. You can probably guess what's coming is a snatch, right? Breathe. Take it here. High pull. So what we're getting, you don't have to go super fast, is a little half squat, half hinge. 
So we're getting the back of the legs, right? As we pull up with that high pull, we're getting it done. Here, yes. It's still a power move. High pull, five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, team, so keeping that high pull, we're gonna go one high pull, one snatch. I want you to watch me right here. And we got two versions of this because we're gonna take it to a kickstand, all right? So we're going high pull, snatch. If that is not right for you, I want you to go kickstand, high pull, kickstand, curl, and press, all right? You don't have to add that little jump with the snatch if you don't want to. We got 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. High pull, snatch, and also if you wanna do a row instead of the high pull, that works too. 30 seconds, three, two, one, kickstand, high pull, kickstand, snatch. Get low, high pull, and up. Only do what you're comfortable with. You gotta really use that front leg of the kickstand to give you that power. Remember your snatch just comes up close to your body. Just pull it up and through. You don't have to jump with it, but get the power from the legs. Three, two, one, and relax. How is that? Let's do the same thing other side. We're taking it here. So kickstand, remember we're here, you're gonna do a little hinge, power from the front leg, high pull, hinge, snatch, whatever that means to you. Here we go. Down, high pull, and snatch. Down, up, and up. There we go. Hand up, yes team. And up down and up keep it going five four three two one and relax catch your breath team we're gonna do the same thing again but we are gonna make a few little changes so we don't get too much of that all right so it's gonna look a little different the second round but you can do it we're gonna start with that plank row but what I want you to do on that back to basics is we're gonna go one row, side plank rotation, slow and controlled. If you wanna stay on the knees, one row, side plank rotation, then switch your sides. Row, side plank rotation, all right? So still back to basics, st should still keep your heart rate up, but I want you to think about that core and think about your back. Here we go. We got 45 seconds, zip up the core, come up into that plank or knees, here we go. One row one rotation right through here. Now, again, you can keep it on the knees if that's better for you, or you can take it row and just stretch from the ground. Row and just stretch, right? You can keep it right there. Whatever is good for you. Let's get it done. Yes, Alexandra, haven't done snatches in a while. I know, right? It has been a little bit of time. So I thought it'd be fun to get them in today. We got 10 seconds, we got a row, and reach, and reach, three, two, and one. Stretch it back, team. All right, so here is what we got. We're going to keep the row, but we're gonna go double row, so I told you, a little bit different this time. Whew. We're just gonna go deadlift row, and bring it up. So grab that second dumbbell. I know, it's not quite the same, but we're still gonna keep that row and then we're adding a deadlift. So shoulders back, core engaged. Here we go. Breathe, bring it up. It stood, still get your heart rate up, but we're mixing it up a little bit because we got a little extra with that rotation down. And up, yes team. Hand up, you got it. Ha. One more right here. Ha, here we go, shake it out. 
All right, team, I want you to hang on to those. Now we keep the deadlift. And I want you to take it side lunge. So finish the deadlift all the way through and then side lunge, all right? So we're building, right? So let's take it here, shoulders back. This is technically your back to basics, but as you can tell, we mixed it up a little bit this round. Here we go. Down and up. That's why we gave you just that deadlift row because this one's really gonna get that heart pumping. And breathe right here. Down and up. Feel those legs. Arms get a break. So take your time. Right through here. Deadlift, slow and controlled. Then sit deep into that side lunge. Really shift your weight, but finish your deadlift. Then step out right through here. Bring it up and squeeze. Yes, five seconds. Whoo! Breathe and relax. All right, team. So now we are keeping that side lunge. Here's what we've got. We're taking it back to that high pull or snatch. Side lunge, high pull, or side lunge, snatch. You wanna be a little bit careful coming out of the side lunge that you're actually using the hinge to pull up for the snatch. I don't want anybody to round in that lower back, all right? 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Let's get it done. Side lunge, high pull, or side lunge, snatch. Here we go. Side lunge, high pull. You can also get low, bring that knee up. Or here, here. Take it low, power through. So you gotta really, again, use that hinge to get that power. Down, that's not right for you. Keep that high pull. Hand up, yes team. Side lunge deep. Three, two, one, and relax. Shoulders are getting it done today, right? And those legs and those hamstrings. Woo! Let's take it to that other side. 30 seconds. Side lunge, high pull. So I'm using my 10 right now. I was using my 15 with just the rows. But because we're going into the snatch, even though we can snatch a 15, right? A lot of us do. But for me with my shoulder, I wanted to be a little extra careful. So you do what's best for you where you're not pulling with your back. You're getting the power from the entire body. In that snatch, we got three, two, one. Yes, team, woo! Catch your breath. Carla says, this workout is keeping my body guessing. Mine, two, quick sip, everybody. We're gonna get a little cardio mobility. Then we're down, Matt. All right, team. So I want everybody to stretch it out. So we get the shoulders 30 seconds right through here. Then we're on the mat. Open it up wide, stretch out through the legs. We're gonna get some core. You're gonna like it. Breathe, breathe right through here. Stretch, open it out, open it out. We got 10 seconds to go. There we go. Guess what, everything on the mat is 30 seconds. Last one, shake it out. All right team, so you are down on your back with or without your dumbbell. We're gonna go low with our scissors and triceps. So you can go two triceps or you can go one dumbbell or two dumbbells, sorry, and lower the legs. Prioritize the core, those arms have been working hard, but if we can, let's get it done. Here we go, 30 seconds triceps and scissors. You've got the strength and it's only 30. I'm gonna do it guys. Let's go triceps down and up right here. Yes, back to basics tries. Woo. And lower core, breathe. Hot. Right here, three. Two, one, we're gonna keep those scissors, but we're gonna take it into a plank position. We're gonna lift cross over. We're gonna lift cross over. 
So let's take it here, 30 seconds. If the plank is not right for you, take it on the knees and cross over from there. Here we go, scissors cross over, <sighs> cross over. So we just took our scissors and we flipped it over, right? <sighs> right through here. Again, you can also just do from that quadruped over and out right here. <sighs> and breathe. <sighs> Yes. Five, four, three, two, stretch. This is it, team. Last move in the circuit. It's a hip move, and we're gonna get it done. I want you to keep that plank, but let's go up, up, down, down, cross. Up, up, down, down, cross. Join me for 30. Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Right leg cross. Left, right, left, right. Just a little extra chest and shoulders and core. Yes, remember you can do it here. Woo hoo. And cross it over. Right, left, right, left. And cross, keep it going. Left, right, left, right. Boom. Right, left. Finish it out, let's get one more. Left, right, left, right. Woo. Breathe. <laughs> all right, team. Catch your breath. Grab a sip of water. Shake those arms out, all right? So that was a lot of arms and core. How about it, team? Let's get. A bonus move. I think we got time, right? All right, here's what we got. I want you to grab a medium set of dumbbells. Essentially, we're putting almost everything we did together. So watch me here. You can start in the plank with the row or you can do a row from here. But we're going plank row, one, and then the other. We're doing pop-up row together. <sighs> we're cleaning it. We're gonna do a squat and a press, and then we're gonna do a lunge and curl, lunge and curl. So plank row, pop-up row, clean it, squat and press, and then we're doing lunge and curl. All right, you can do it. I know it's a lot. Woo! <laughs> Charlotte, your four-year-old is right. That looked really hard. All right, one minute to go. Oh, look at that time. All right, we got it, we got it. Let's do it. We're gonna go a little bit over, and that is okay. One minute, start from the plank row in three, two, one. So you're gonna row each side. You're gonna pop it up or walk it up. Pop up row, bring it up. Rock it, squat, press, and then we got lunge and curl. I'm gonna go curtsy and curl, but you do you. Then we gotta pop it back. So you're going down in that deadlift, walk it back or pop it back. Right here, row, hand row. Walk it in or pop it in, flat back, double row. Bring it up, cleaner curl. Squat and press, curtsy and lunge. Listen, if that's a lot, you just make something up. As long as you are moving, that is all that I care about. So move with good form. Get something in that gets your muscles working and your heart rate up. And finish strong with me right here. Woo! Breathe. Hup. Right here. Let's get one more all the way through. Why not? Walk it back. We don't have our timer, so let's just go for it. Plank row. Walking in or jumping in. Pop up row. Bring it up. Curl or clean. Squat and press. Lunge and curl two times. That's it, team. Right here. Woo! Yes! Oh, man. Shake it out. I know you were worried I was gonna throw a snatch in there. Nope, we got it. That last move had everything. A plank, a row, a hinge, a squat. A curl, a lunge, push, pull, everything that we needed. You did it, team. I hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling strong. Let's take those arms up to the side. Whoo! I'm feeling winded. I hope you feel that too. That heart rate is up, as my kids would say. My heart is beeping. Whoo! Mommy, I feel your heart beeping. It is, it's beeping hard right now, telling me that it's getting stronger, that it's pumping that blood and the oxygen more efficiently. 
Whew. This is the time that we want those lungs strong, right? Let's take a little stretch right here. A lot of illnesses and viruses going around. I'm so sorry if you've been experiencing it. I know a lot of us, especially, whew, if you have to go into work, if your kids are in school are feeling it. But one of the best things we can do to boost our immune system is move our bodies, right? Our lungs get stronger, our hearts get stronger. Our body is moving things through the body, nutrients, oxygen more efficiently. So keep moving. But of course, if you are sick, Take a break, listen to your body, reach back behind. Team Prancer, Angela getting it done. <laughs> Heather says, oh my holy bonus move. D, wow, that was tough, but one of my favorite workouts. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh good, I'm always trying to think of something for this live format at the end. Let's take those wrists and get a little stretch all the way down through here that we can replicate in the workouts to come. Next week, we have the kettlebell version of this. Um, and then, Ooh, I guess we have one more week and then we will have an actual holiday hit workout, which is our holiday themed that will be on Christmas Eve, the 24th. So if you're able to join for that, I know a lot of us will probably have plans. So don't worry, it will stay up for you, but it will be a fun one where we'll get lots of holiday themed exercises. Little quad stretch, if you can get it, either tilt the hip forward or bring it here and have the hand on the wall to a little extra stretch and balance. So that will be fun. And then we will end the month with a live with a closeout party. But we're going to keep this format where we just keep building on these exercises. It's kind of fun, right? So you know you have two versions of everything. Whew. But you'll cut thing away, one thing away as we go, right? Oh, all right. Amy, first live, loved it. Dixie loved the bonus move. <laughs> Lori says, sweaty Christmas ball. I love that. I love that reference, right? Mariah, thank you so, so much. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's get one big deep breath in. Why not? Woo, one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell hit workout. Great job, everybody. All right. So we are going to hang out for a few minutes. Let me know uh, if you have any specific questions. Oh, Angela just got done being sick. Now you have a sinus infection. Oh my goodness, moving makes me feel better. Yeah, so general rule, guys, listen to your doctor first and foremost, but a little gentle movement, especially if it's mostly in your head, like your sinuses, can be helpful. If you're coughing, if it's in your chest, if you feel like you can't breathe, you really do wanna take a break. I am not a doctor, so big disclaimer, listen to your doctor, listen to your healthcare provider, but sometimes just a little low impact, gentle movement can help things feel a little better, help your body feel a little better. So listen to your body, listen to your doctor, move if you can. All right, team, so, oh, Tamika saw my, my Christmas tree. Oh, thank you. Alexandra, team, comment. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see. Uh, Paula, body is exhausted. Oh, Paula's also not feeling well. Let's see what I can bring up here. I think Kurt is going to, bring me my computer as well. If you want to hang out, hang out. Woo, let's see. All right. Oh, let me see if I can bring up my live chat here. I think I have to do, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Dr. Carmela said that was awesome, even though I have a bum knee. I'm so sorry that you're still dealing with that. I know you'll be back, and I'm so glad that you were able to show up and modify always an option just take that lower body out or take it body weight whatever you need to do but i'm so glad that you were able to be here um sandy first live workout too welcome welcome elsa first workout after being sick for a while feels really good to move i'm so glad alozia thanks for being here loves the app thank you so please make sure that you download the free body fit by amy app we do have a lot of freebies on there for you, especially this month. You're able to join in on our live streams, which are normally just a part of the Body Fit Athletic Club. So make sure that you download the app. It's completely free to download, and then you can access the freebies there. We also have this month's playlist on there. Um, you can still, of course, watch everything through YouTube. We'll be linking in your emails, so make sure you're on that email list. Um, and if you want to join us in our ranger challenge, again, the teams are already set and that was a big project because there's hundreds of you. So 
Um, Team we, Prancer. Team Prancer. No, Team Dasher. And then Mariana is Team Comet, who's part of our Body Fit team, and Vivian, our Body Fit dietitian. She is Team Rudolph. So that's why you guys are hearing the teams. But um, if you want to just take part in the challenge, you certainly can without being on a team. The goal is eight ounces of water before, right when you wake up in the morning, before you drink your coffee. I know that's a hard one for a lot of people, but to hydrate after going all night without water. So eight ounces of water first thing in the morning before you drink anything else. Eating three colors in the day. So that is your produce. So think your veggies, your fruits, um, three colors in your day and getting a workout in or getting some movement in. Would love for that to be the scheduled Body Fit by Amy workout so you guys can stay on schedule. But of course, I know a lot of people are dealing with a lot of different things. Maybe you're too busy to get the full workout in. Maybe you, um, again, are recovering from a sinus infection like Angela. So any movement counts. So that is how you do it. That is our challenge for holiday hit. And then of course, working on a rest day, usually that day seven or that uh, Sunday, but up to you. So we'd love to have you join us. Yay, Rachel is here. Hello, hello. I'm so glad that you made it back home to join in too. Oh my goodness. Tell your little guy I said hi, all of your kids, but um, Dirk for sure. Erica first live, I love it. Wild Lombax, thank you. Thanks for motivating my mom, I love it. Woo, okay. <laughs> Let's see, seconds please, I love it, Jessica. <laughs> it took me a second. Seconds, yes, coming up next week with a kettlebell. Um, let's see, Holly Christmas, yes, I think your name is on the spreadsheet, so if you go in the show up and keep moving group, um, if not, send me an email at info at bodyfitbyamy.com and I will send it to you, but there's a spreadsheet where you can enter your points. But if you are on Facebook, join us in the um, show up and keep moving Body Fit by Amy group, that's a free group and it's all through there as well. So, Heather, I know I haven't seen you doing a live in a while, I'm so glad to see you back, Heather, in our athletic club. Um, let's see, Alyssa had to take it a little easy today, I've been sick all week, I'm so sorry, I'm glad that you were able to join too. Again, listen to your body, but sometimes you surprise yourself, you feel better when you get moving. Miss Drea, first time live, just wanted to sit on the couch, but wow, you're motivating. <laughs> I have to bring it. Listen, you guys motivate me. I would also just be wanting to sit on the couch in the mornings, especially on a Saturday. And you know, the kids never sleep in on a Saturday like they could. Uh, they never sleep in. But this is motivating for me. So thank you all so much, especially this time of year. Um, awesome. Hey, Kim. Good to see you, Kim. Laura, Team Prancer. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. Team Rudolph, Team Comet. I love it. Jonathan, my birthday is coming up. It's on December 13th. Happy birthday, Jonathan. Hope you have a great birthday. Oh, Alexandra has a sick kiddo. I'm so sorry. Um, does anybody have any specific questions? I'm going to scroll through and make sure I didn't miss anything. But thank you all so much for joining. So if you are new to this, so holiday hit is the challenge that we do during the holidays. It's five weeks long. We just finished week one. We have a holiday hit playlist here on YouTube. It's completely free. You can follow it that way. Also, if you sign up for my email list, that's the best way to do it because you will get an email tomorrow that gives you, <coughs> excuse me, that gives you your links early within the email. You can access those links and you can create your playlist you can a lot of people like to preview the workouts but otherwise the workouts are released the night before and you can do the workout of the day but since we're all in different time zones it's helpful to get the email so look in the description below of this uh workout you will find the link to sign up for the email list you will get some information usually we link a blog post or vivian and i try to chat about something that's current or something you might have a question about something we get asked about all the time um, we will give you some information on that in those emails and then you get your schedule and any other information for the week. Um, and then again, make sure that you download the Body Fit by Amy app. It is available for Apple and Android and you can download it for free. You can join in on our live chats. So every week Vivian and I go live Nutrition Tuesday, Workout Wednesday, and we do some Q and A's and anybody can join in on those. I think you do have to be a member of the Athletic Club to be able to comment, but you can certainly post questions that you have for us in the Facebook group um, if you are there. So join us in the app for that to join in on the live streams. Um, coming up this week, Vivian is doing a live stream with a pediatric dietitian. So if you have questions about 
pediatric nutrition, right? I know we all do. The big ones being like, how do I get my kids to eat more vegetables? Uh, what if my kid is super picky? Will they always be this picky? Are they getting enough good stuff? Um, you know, questions about kids and sugar, all those things that all of us want to know as parents. I think it'll be really beneficial for everybody as well. Uh, but join us for that. That is on Monday. Again, you can find information in the Show Up and Keep Moving group and also in the Body Fit by Amy app. So join us for that. Let's see. All right. Um, any other questions? Oh, cat has to go change a dirty diaper. Yep, good luck to you. Dixie has a question. Doing triceps on our backs, is there a different, be different between using one dumbbell versus two, holding two dumbbells together? So it just depends. Usually it's just weight. Sometimes we need one between two if the two get too heavy. Um, sometimes with the one dumbbell, and I'll show you facing you this way, it keeps our elbows in alignment because the biggest thing that can happen, especially when we have two, is that we get out here. Or what happens a lot with triceps on our back is that we end up using our shoulders, right? Going forward and back. So when we're here, and I try to remind you of this, you wanna start a little bit further back and then you wanna think of it as that 90 degree angle and then beyond, right? So we're not moving through the shoulders, it's elbow flexion and extension. So sometimes having one dumbbell, if you have one heavy, can keep your elbows in place because you have to hold it on either side but sometimes we can go heavier with two which i know you can do dixie and also sometimes we can do some variations like rotating through the wrist through the elbow to get some differences when we have two dumbbells so that's all it is it's more just what can you keep the best form with and what is the right weight for you um i think i saw another question brenda help for with arthritis yes so you know movement in general is really good for arthritis i know it's it's hard when it's painful but gentle movement to get the blood flowing to lubricate those joints i also have a whole low impact playlist which would be really good ones for you and um standing workouts anything with standing in the title would be good for that but movement is good i know we often avoid it when we have that pain um, so whatever you're doing, you know, according to your doctor to manage your pain and then check with your doctor about gentle movement as well. But I think a lot of people have found that it does help their symptoms to get that low impact movement in because we want to move through those joints. We want to get those bones stronger and moving well and exercise can help with that. Um, obviously don't work through pain and listen to your doctor. So, um, all right, Rachel Missup is going to do it now. Excellent um okay Woo! all right team thank you so so much so week two of holiday hit is coming up we'll be back here next saturday for a live kettlebell hit which will be a kettlebell version of this type of format um we're gonna keep it moving throughout the month so it's a busy month again i know a lot of us are dealing with some germs and illnesses so take your time listen to your body but if you're able to keep moving, our, that's our goal this month. And our goal is to get those colors in and stay hydrated and then enjoy the holiday in every way. If you know anything about um, us here, me with Vivian, our dietitian, we are about enjoying food, moving in a way that feels good for you and really just having a healthy relationship with nutrition and fitness. That's what we're here to do. So check out all the links in the description below. Get the app, get on the email list and join us in the athletic club. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you soon.